goodness me, Chris. Tell you what, that's 155. Fast enough to break the bat. We didn't get a speed on that one. I'm sorry. I'm only joking. But it was quick enough to break the bat. Fun 88 magic moment. Christopher, new splice, new bat, please. That's an expensive delivery. Just look at this, folks. Good thing he didn't have a sponsor. Uh, have you seen anything <laughs> like this, Daddy? Well, it's funny. Like they, you know, they obviously they get bats. They get so many bats, the top class batters uh, around the world, and. You know, it could have been one of his collection that he was just trialing, just mm -hmm. sussing a different blade. He was going to put the stickers on maybe later, but um, just as well he didn't. <laughs> it's a beauty, <laughs> isn't it? It's a great replay. Look at that. At a stump cam. Um, and it happens. I mean, that we know that the modern bats, they don't last as long as they used to. They're a lot more softly pressed. And uh, going through the spice there can often happen. And a lot of them turn down the bottom because the hard white quick balls um, and they are pressed so softly uh, because there's so much fatter and bigger, as we know. Uh, they tend to chip off at the end. Uh, the bottoms of them, they get uh, smashed and bashed. But then again, just throw them away and move on and get another one. <laughs> right. Uh, and, a, and a word about uh, Smith. He has been consistently bowling. Uh, I think he's one of the fastest bowlers uh, in, 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 the, in the CPL. So what was your impression of uh, Odeon Smith this season? Yeah, look, he's another one who's developed, and, and Ian uh, Bishop uh, commentates a lot of uh, their underage tournaments, uh, mm -hmm. particularly under 19 World Cup. And I think it, Kino Paul and Odin uh, Smith were together. That uh, that side that were there I think it was in Bangladesh in 2016 when they won it. So, um, you know, five years ago they were there. And so when you look at these guys coming through the ranks and developing, very exciting. And uh, Odin's another one, who, yeah. Again, just more confidence uh, in times of his timing, of his rhythm and his run-up. Uh, but he is, he's, he's a strongly built fellow. Um, like a lot of us, Nick, I'm not the tallest <laughs> going around, but he shows you his strength and his timing through the crease uh, of his bowling action and can be ranging from suddenly a late 130s, 140, and then get close to 150 uh, with his pace when he gets it right. Right. We had that uh, smart ball technology in this tournament, and uh, I think just just when this uh, uh, this ball happened, they were talking about how he was hitting one uh, fifties uh, when the ball was being released. So I'm not sure how that adds up to that uh, radar technology that is used on uh, uh, speed detection. But yes, Odian Smith was uh, I think like featured three times in the top five. Yes, he was. Even fact, he was all the quickest over the whole tournament at the end. So. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, he's a guy that's an up-and-comer, very exciting. And so um, I'm not surprised when you see, <laughs> see this uh, great replay of the bat sort of just snapping. Interesting that Gail was able to hold onto the handle. Sometimes everything just goes out of your hands, you know. But um, it's a crack. So, so what, what would happen if the bat would have gone to the other end of the crease? Would it be counted as a run, as in Chris Gale would have just stood there? I have just... <laughs> Should be, shouldn't it? Or well, the other, what's the other thing? If it hits the ball and, and you catch the broken bat, is that out? Yeah, <laughs> that is <laughs> madness. Good. So, uh, so this was a fun one to watch, and uh, you can get this entertaining uh, bat-breaking moment of uh, Chris Gale uh, on our uh, latest backdrop on Radio.com.